Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we are on March 14th, 2021 and welcome to another surviving day on the planet as we are looking at the Daily Dew. Space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything that's affecting humanity, we're on it. Looking here the last 48 hours, sun imagery, 304 angstroms showing a little earth to scale comparison one active sunspot region luckily no events coming from it looking here 48 hours outgoing images kind of look like that backside CME let off a small CME or backside sunspot let off a CME looking here at another light really able to see everything filament eruptions coronal holes and one lonely sunspot but definitely a growing coronal hole here in the southern hemisphere and we are now being affected by the coronal hole wind speed wind stream looking here at our magnetosphere cut planes and yet we're sitting just under 500 kilometers per, or sorry, 530 kilometers per second. We jumped up to almost 600 kilometers per second throughout the day today and early this morning. So we did have a small rise in the KP index to a level four, level four. No, sorry, level five KP index. For March 14th, looking at the Schumann residence for today, a power of 16. Not much to say or look at here with the Schumann residence, power of 16, a quality of 8.9. Let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours. Most recently here, we had pretty sizable and deep earthquake. 5.2 reported in the Fiji Islands at a 544 kilometer depth and that's the deepest the last 24 hours the largest was a 6.0 in forecasted regions stay tuned here we're going to go around the world 5.2 there Papua New Guinea as well 4.7 here Papua New Guinea 4.5 Sangani Philippines that's right by the tall volcano 4.7 here in Japan. Four point eight Xinjiang, China, ten kilometer depth. Five point one reported here in Iran. Rare earthquakes there. And as well a four point oh just west there at a ten kilometer depth in Iran as well. Still seeing sizable earthquakes on Iceland as well. 5.4, largest reported there today, as well a 4.5, both shallow earthquakes. Looking at now into Alaska, largest earthquake reported, 3.7 there in King Cove, Alaska. As well through the upper Midwest today, Stanley, Idaho, seeing some small quakes, 3.1 largest. As well, Ferndale, California, Petrolia. And then some more rare earthquakes here. Kansas, Eastboro, Kansas, Wichita, 3.5, 3.4, 3.0, and a 3.9 reported there today. 
If you felt these earthquakes, get into the comment section. Let me know. 2.5 is well reported here in Tennessee. 4.3 Mexico. Independencia. Now it's interesting. I just did the volcanic activity report. It's a hot spot right there because you'll see in just a moment. Around the world, Puerto Rico as well. 4.8 here reported in Peru. Or sorry, Colombia. 4.8. Moving south here to Peru. 4.2. And as well, 4.6. East Chile rise here with a 4.8. Sorry, West Chile rise. And then the forecasted 6.0 earthquake here, South Sandwich Islands region, 10 kilometer depth, followed by a 4.5.4 a as well. South Shetland Islands seeing a 4.6. So yeah, forecasted activity throughout these regions due to the massive atmospheric pressure that is being thwarted throughout the region. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Let's have a look at the last seven days as we're still seeing the deep earthquakes continue and now become numerous again. So stay tuned, stay aware and prepared. We could be on the verge of a large sizable earthquake. And this is just all about staying aware and prepared because we, we do believe that we can forecast earthquakes. So let's keep people and humanity safe, aware and prepared. Have an emergency kit, have an emergency plan, emergency contact list, and of course, three months of food and water, and your head on straight. Looking here, the Pacific Disaster Center, most recent volcanoes again getting updated today, Popo in Mexico, Era in Japan, Etna in Italy. Momo Tombo, Momo Tombo in Nicaragua. So this is what I was talking about here. Nicaragua did see a 4.3 in the region. And now we have a new volcano, Momo Tombo. Volcano in Nicaragua is showing signs of activities. So that's what, 53? We'll carry on here with the list of updated volcanoes. Dokono, Indonesia as well, Swiss and Najima, Japan, Pacaya, Guatemala, Sabancaya in Peru, Reventador, Fuego, Senge in Ecuador, Luatolo, Indonesia, Rung, Indonesia, Simaru, Sinabung. So that's about 12 volcanoes being updated today. And I put out the volcanic activity report earlier and it was 52. So with that new Momotombo in Guatemala is 53. As well, observing some diminishing winter storm conditions throughout the United States. High pressure ridge is really gobbling it up. Most of the moisture is heading north here to British Columbia coastline and Alaska. But yeah, pretty intense system and pushing a lot of warm temps ahead of it. Southwesterly is coming into Alberta. We were at almost 20 degrees Celsius. That's almost 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. Not many systems to talk about in the, in the oceans for cyclones or hurricanes. The only one that is still kind of alive is tropical cyclone Habana. Forecasted here to keep heading west. Low pressure center is continuing to hold itself. We'll see if it gains strength here over the next couple days. Considering we just got hammered with almost 600 kilometer winds, solar winds, watch for this thing to pick up overnight tonight, our time. As soon as the sun comes up, it will be ramping it up. So thoughts of prayers going to Mauritius, St. Denis, small islands there just off the coast of Madagascar. You could have Cyclone Habana come to life. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Earth, Media Mike. Starting out here overlooking Canada, home base, Alberta. As yeah, still some warm temperatures being pumped in here by the big low on the west coast. So cool at night and really nice during the day. 
and drying out really high pressure ridge that came through just seems to be gobbling up all the moisture across north america as i said five day forecast shows a lot of moisture being funneled into the bc coastline and up into alaska watch for the low pressure center later in the week to move eastward across the upper midwest united states then low pressure center here coming out of the pacific again five day forecast down into the gulf states could see some extreme weather with this low pressure center as well could be a doozy of a storm as it heads across the southeastern seaboard watch out carolina states overlooking canada high pressure ridge not much to talk about ontario seeing a dusting of snow but everything seems to be diminishing from the high pressure ridge overlooking the atlantic big low pressure systems are now heading towards greenland and will be affecting the atlantic provinces tuesday into wednesday but then moving away way north big strong high pressure ridge here locked over the united kingdom keeping things dry but then throughout the week watch for a low pressure center to come out of the united kingdom and down into parts of central europe and as well a big system here heading through the mediterranean could see significant snowfall and extreme weather here with the system that comes out of the uk watch that to affect parts of spain cooler temperatures moving into parts of north africa overlooking eurasia and into russia and china no major systems to talk about they are in the ocean large pacific low there still heading into parts of kamchatka this week could see quite a bit of snow with that and there are many volcanoes on that island big system here could affect parts of southern japan later in the week but other than that no typhoons to talk about in the west pacific no major systems affecting indonesia nor micronesia overlooking australia long line of atmospheric moisture is getting ready to leave but not before it whips up a low pressure system here heading southward into parts of southeastern australia you could see some extreme weather with this system heading through wednesday into thursday other than that most of the moisture is saying staying north of the continent Again, no major systems here affecting New Zealand, Fiji Islands, New Caledonia. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains. Heavier towards uh, next weekend, Thursday into Friday. Could see some heavy rainfall and extreme weather into the mountainous regions, Bolivia. Overlooking Africa, dry, not too much to talk about. Daily evaporation rains, very spotty throughout the week. Daily evaporation rains continue as well through Madagascar. Could see some heavy amounts through coastal regions. And as well, five-day forecast shows a little sign of life here with Cyclone Habana heading towards Mauritius. Leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Much love to you all. And please, don't forget to smash that like button. Have a look at the major systems that are affecting our planet right now. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.